Good morning, Gear 4. It's Wednesday the 18th of November and today our LO for English is to use a range of sentence structures. Our steps to success are to use coordinating conjunctions for compound sentences, subordinating conjunctions for complex sentences and fronted adverbials. So what is the difference between coordinating and subordinating conjunctions? We have looked at this already in class, so this is definitely a revisionist session, but to go over it once more, so coordinating conjunctions join together two main clauses, um, and the two main clauses make sense by themselves. In comparison to this are the subordinating conjunctions. Now, these join together a main clause and a subordinating clause. The subordinating conjunction must always go at the start of the subordinating clause. What, special, what is special here, though, is the subordinating clause and the the main clause can switch round, as you can see in the example below. If we start with the subordinating conjunction and the subordinating clause, then we must have a comma before we move on to the main clause. Here are some examples of coordinating and subordinating conjunctions. For coordinating conjunctions, we can use fanboys. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Subordinating conjunctions, you may remember using the I saw a Wabub acronym. Here are just a few of those. Because, as, if, when, although, before and after. What are fronted adverbials? Just like we revised last week, fronted adverbials go at the start of a sentence. They give us information about the verb, telling us how, when or where the verb took place. It must be marked out with a comma at the end of it. By using coordinating conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions and adverbials, we can vary our sentence structure. This makes our writing much more interesting to read. By using coordinating conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions and adverbials, we can vary our sentence structure. This makes our writing much more interesting and engaging for the reader. You can see how Philip Pullman has done this in the extract below from The Firework Maker's Daughter. As Lila entered the grotto, her heart sank. Here's the fronted adverbial here, mark it, marked with a comma. There was nothing there, so now we've got a very short sentence. Completely devastated, comma, another fronted adverbial. She sat there alone, and Lila began to wonder why she had even bothered trying. We've got uh, one of our fanboys here. All of a sudden, another fronted adverbial with a comma, fire spirit sparked at the corner of her eye. The grotto had come alive. In your work today, your first activity is to colour code the sentences in the extract below. We need to show coordinating conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions and fronted adverbials. So first I'm going to pick the highlighting colour for each of these so I know what to look out for in my text. I'm using the highlighter function on Word, you can use this on Teams. So now I'm looking for coordinating conjunctions. These are my fanboys and I can go back to the PowerPoint to remind me of those. As Lila entered the grotto, her heart sank. There was nothing there. Completely devastated, she sat there alone. And that's one of our fanboys, so I need to highlight that in yellow. I can spot there's a fronted adverbial here, so I'm going to highlight that in blue. You can choose your own colours, of course. It don't have to be these. And a subordinating conjunction as well. Let's have a little look through. Well, I know my subordinating conjunctions include the word as, so there's a subordinating conjunction here in my fronted adverbial. There's lots more to find in here. For your second activity, continue the description. What will the firework maker's grotto look like when it comes alive? Use your imagination and a range of sentences. Coordinating conjunctions, so your fanboys. Subordinating conjunctions, your I saw a wabub and your fronted adverbials, remember your comma at the end. If you have any questions, remember you can ask for help in the Ask the Teachers channel.